freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? But there's a boat and he's standing with a guy? Hey! Hey! Get away from my son! Jesus! Jesus! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, jump. I'm coming! Jump! I don't have a jump. What's up, Wastelanders? Today we're going to be playing Through the Woods. Through the Woods is a game based off of Norse mythology about a, na a man named Old Eric. Old Eric is a man that comes and snatches children that don't behave. And um, I'm assuming the son of this game did something to, you know, make Old Eric mad. So without further ado, let's find out exactly what happened and if we can go save our son since you play as the mother in this game. And here's Through the Woods. All right, guys, so here we are. Chapter one, the cabin. See what kind of madness we're gonna get into with this game. Okay, we got some kind of somber music going on. This place is beautiful, man. I'm gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Okay. He said not to go by the pier. So, we are going to try and find the pier, actually. Let's see. We're going to... There's a bridge and a treehouse. You know, I was never fortunate enough to have a treehouse as a kid, but I did have a tire swing, and oh my god, that brings back memories. So many memories. Missing dad notes. I used to like coming to the cabin better when mom wasn't so lame. She works all the time and sleeps all day. When I talk... He's only half listening. Don't know what's up with her. Just want to go home. I miss dad. Poor kid. Dead magpie, Askeladden, and the princess. Brothers, I found... I found a dead magpie. Dot, dot. Alright. Back on our journey. Let's see if we can find the pier. So I assume if we just look out by um, the edge, there's got to be a path somewhere, right? This just loops around in a circle. We have a random giant dirt mound. Okay. That must be the pier down here. He tells me stay away from the pier. Okay, call me. Oh, we can't go swimming. I didn't like that music, though. Okay. So there they are, eating their pizza. Looks like they're actually having a conversation. Or it looks like Espen's having a conversation anyway. I really like the, um... The music and the vocal casting they did in this. Hey mom, wait. 
wake up. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, it's been... Ah, pop. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Espen, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry, just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Indeed it is. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Okay, well... I mean, I was gonna say she's kind of an ass, but... Look at the stars, Espen. You know, being a parent that's tired from working all the time and just woke up, I can kind of understand. Oh, there it lets me. Finally. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. Yeah, won't you? Bring. The jacket does look comfortable, though. So... What do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. Mm. You done, Espen? I apologize, guys. I don't mean to keep yawning. I was up at like 6 o'clock this morning to record, but the three-year-old woke up. Now I'm out by the pier. Gonna come get me, too? I was having fun with the flashlight for a minute. Uh oh, the door's open. Espen? Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. Jesus, Espen. What are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't yeah, know if I want to get chocolate anymore. Oh, I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Yeah. Okay. You're washing the cups. Hey, you can I go down your to lesson. the pier in the morning? I want to try to catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure no, you're not no. going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. We've anyway, already been down there, but your mother doesn't broken. know. And dangerous. Please don't go you're down there by yourself. You're not going down to the pier. Pine. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing my nightmare had come true and i was left raising a child i didn't love so she's drawing up a blueprint my so is she an architect and espen's father and i began to fight i resented them both and one day espen and me were alone As Ben got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became I my ache. best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. Or Espen. Yikes, well that took a depressing turn. Espen? I didn't say we're gonna do something or we're just gonna watch her sleep on the couch all day. Why didn't you wake me up? Come on, let's go. I'm ready to get in some Espen? action. Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. I'll take some eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. Read. Milk, bread, cheese, salami, pizza, grandiosa, and hot chocolate. Hi, Mom. You're always asleep when I wake up. It's really boring. Going out to play. E. Espen? 
Espen? I bet he's at the pier, <sighs> isn't he? It's freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? But there's a boat Espen? and he's standing with a guy? Hey! Hey! Get away from my son! Jesus! Jesus! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, jump. I'm coming! Jump! I don't have a jump. You swim a little faster. I mean, you can't go underwater, you know. Through the woods. I like how we get to swim under the title. It really gives it that cinematic feel. There's the boat. We got to be close. We have got to be close. Hang on, Espen, I'm coming. I still don't understand why there's air bubbles coming out of the water. Maybe it's a glitch in the game, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to dog on the game too much, you know? They they did a really good job on this. Like, the landscape looks beautiful. The gameplay, the controls still Espen! smooth. And she just threw her phone in the water. You're littering and you're going to hell. Espen! And I'm going to be the one to put you there. Espen! Because I get to play as you. Guys, please recycle your electronics. Wait. I don't know what happened there. I got a little drunk for a minute. Aspen! There's those things like you see in Skyrim. Okay, we have a bridge that we can cross. Looks like it leads into a village. Hello? Oh yeah, I'm getting serious Skyrim vibes. Probably not. Place looks like it's been abandoned for centuries. What are you talking about? Are you there, lady? Okay, that's burned to the ground. So I'm going to assume there's nothing in there. Check here. There is something on the table. I see a book. Old Eric. Villager Tales. The old bastard came to the village yesterday eve. Craven horse son took Rydar's boy away. The bastard. No one saw him come, but we set a watch some weeks ago. The boy didn't make a sound, the wretched thing. We'd all a mind to go up there and at last and put an end to this, but for the gates. The cursed gates won't open to those such as us. All we can do is bide our time and hope Rydar's boy was the last. The corruption of the man. His heart, if he has one, must be rotted as a month dead swine, and our gods do nothing. A curse on the month festering pile of them. Or on the whole festering pile of them. I don't know where I got month from. And curse on the murdering bastard Eric. Eric. There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called. Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good, or old Eric would come and take me. Okay. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, later I wasn't so sure. Hmm. I mean, later you aren't so sure. 
Uh, that's people in a campfire. That's never good. Okay. So over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. where they got the name for this game maybe we swing it right here no that's blocked off okay that's where we found the page we got to go up this way i'm assuming oh yeah we haven't been here yet open door or knock down the door, rather. That is... I'm going to assume that's a, a statue of a Viking and not a dwarf. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more, a trail, and that as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. Well, that's good at least. I don't know what that is. I'm going to assume that's a checkpoint. Espen! It's either a checkpoint, which is a good thing, or something really bad. I don't like when rocks just light up like that. Down we go. Okay, we got a bridge. For a second, I thought that was a giant bone. I still can't get over this, man. Like, look, look at these graphics. You can't tell me this isn't amazing. Oh, that's Espen's flashlight. And our second cutscene, or third, no. I don't know. I've lost count. Please don't hurt me. Please. Don't you hurt him. I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. She's coming, Espen. She's coming. We are on our way, Espen. Don't you worry. All right, and that was part one, the cabin. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, do you think that this story is going to have a happy ending? Or do you think something bad is going to happen to us? But this seems like a fairy tale, so I'm going to go with a happy ending. But I don't know, because like I, you know, I haven't played the game. So we'll find out uh, a few episodes from now. But I plan on dropping chapter two sometime this week, hopefully. If I don't get it out this week, definitely chapter two and three the following week. So, you know, in the link to the video, all my socials, be sure to follow. Keep updates. I've started using the community over here on YouTube as well to give you guys updates. So if you're interested in that and <clears throat> so I can keep making content for you guys. I'm, I'm trying to hit YouTube partner, help me, like, 
subscribe like i said comment let me know what you think is going to happen uh comment what your favorite part was you know stuff like that and i appreciate you guys stopping by to watch the video so until next time guys love y'all stay safe and we'll see you in the wasteland peace